Hello! Today I have a color combination lock for you guys. So this is adapted off of Mugwo Jumbo's rec most recent color combination lock. I think it was three months ago. And his was behind glass and it was a bit slow so I improved that by having these blocks stick out and making it slightly faster. If you don't already know how this works, it basically you set yourself a color combination and you receive a redstone output only when that combination is on display. So my code is simply cyan and orange. Orange here, cyan here. And we have our cyan, turn night, and our orange, and look at that. We got a firework. Okay, on to the tutorial. For this, you're going to need 10 building blocks for your wall, 16 um, obsidian or furnace or chest, any block as long as it is unpushable, and 18 glass, 43 blocks, solid blocks, 2 gravel or sand, 2 stone buttons, 6 repeaters, 2 comparators, 2 adds, 18 pistons, 29 redstone dust, 2 sticky pistons, 2 redstone torches, a furnace and your blocks for your selection screen. These can be any blocks as long as it is not a redstone block and not a tile entity. Okay, let me just grab all of these. Okay, so let's start. First, you're going to want to place your pistons. Let's get these out from here and you're going to want to place some like so. And then you count one, two, three, and you break block there, place a piston there. And this goes all the way along here. And then you're going to want to make your actually you're going to want to place your unpushable blocks right here and there and there and there. And you're going to want to place them here as well. Just like that. Now you're going to want to place blocks like so. And do the same on this side, just like that. And place a repeater here and here. Set them both to four ticks. And now place redstone dust all along here. And up on this. And same goes for here. Now that's this part done. Now we're going to make our wall. So to do this, you're going to want to place blocks like this. And then put your button here and there. Now behind this, you're going to want to Place two blocks like that on both sides. Take your torches. One, two, three. Take your torches, place them on the inside here. Place a piston facing upwards here with a piece of gravel or sand on top of it. Now you're going to want to place redstone dust here and there. And place your two slabs here and there and place a repeater here that is on three ticks and place a block here and there once you've done that you're going to want to place redstone dust here make a stair pattern goes up like this and do the same on this side Oops, do the same on this side and yeah now you're going to want to place your other pistons so these go, let me grab them, these go just like this, and same for in here, and then make that block there, that's what I did. Okay, place pistons like that, so they're facing like that, and then go up to the locks, and place the pistons here and break the second outermost 
Now, once you've done that, you've got your piston reel put in. And yeah, and now we're going to want to place blocks here and here. Blocks going like that. And you're going to want to place obsidian here, not not a regular block. Sitting here and sitting here, 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 here. Same goes for here. This is sitting here, here, and there. Not sitting any untouchable block. Just so you remember. The exact same on this side. And yep. Place your repeater on top of this block. Set it to four ticks. and place redstone dust all along all the blocks you just placed. Okay, now we're almost done with the piston reel. All we have to do is have these activate. Now to do this, you want to want to place two blocks like that, two blocks like that, place a block there, and the same goes for here, and place two repeaters, set them both to four ticks, and that's it, I think we're done for the piston reel. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to come up here and place your sticky pistons, just like that. Good. Once you've done that, you're going to want to place your color combination up here. I'm just using wood because I can't be bothered to do all the colors of wool or clay. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to place block on top of this this block here. Place a comparator on top and place your glass. You're going to want to keep a space for each horizontal piston. So for example here, I'm not gonna place block there. And yeah. Just like that and bridge the block here. Place your solid block there. Place the furnace, put whatever you want in the furnace, and go back on the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to want to fill up this part here, and remember to keep that spot for the horizontal pistons. So see here, I'm going to leave that spot open. Okay, same goes for here, and place blocks, just like that. Now you're done. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment if you want to leave feedback. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.